Well guys, we're back more Black Lagoon. We're on Season 1, Episode 7. This one is called Calm Down to Men. So guys, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to this uh, next episode. Last episode we left off with seeing they went after the painting or whatever from Nazi guys that wanted to uh, grab that painting from the submarine. They were able uh, to get on the boat and kill all the men that were on there. I'm pretty sure, I think they got the painting back as well. I think we did see a uh, Revy man just went on a killing spree. Like she just did not care at all. But uh, you know, from the ending, I think I remember she said she can't really partner with Rock because she says she's never seen seen a guy like that or just never she's like or he's like he's not one of us see so i think she feels like she can't trust him yet she needs to get to know him a little bit more even though he's completely different from what they what she's used to she says she likes him but it's just like she's unsure about him i'm really looking forward to seeing the development between their relationship and seeing how they develop over time and stuff like that see if they become friends or something like that i really don't know but yeah anyway guys i'm looking forward to getting to this next episode the patreon sponsor for today is from haruto haruto thank you for all the support for this month i really appreciate it guys make sure you just go on the page because you're joining our preseason support that does come around anyway guys let's get to this next episode for black lagoon <laughs> Like he's I thought homeless. I told you to get out of here yesterday. Yeah, good one. Do me a favor. Just shut up and drive, will ya? Ah! This sucks! This really fucking sucks! Ah! Why am I stuck playing fucking errand boy with you? That's what I really want to know. That lousy prick dungeon. I hope he dies! Control the car! Finally decided to shake that fine ass of yours in the S&M show. I knew you'd do it around, baby. Fuck off, will ya, Rowan? The only reason I'm here is because of my job. So don't start with that. I'm not into being tied up or tying other people up. Oh, what brings you here today? Uh, right. Regarding the goods you ordered from... You ordered booze for this place, right? We've got 1,500 bottles for you. Pack sure has gone up on these. It's killing me. How's a brother supposed to make a dime? She. Oh, yeah. What's up with your friend who looks like he ain't never seen a pair of titties before? Oh, him. He's the rookie at our place. Whoever need anything, don't be shy. <laughs> Later, Rowan. Don't forget about the money, huh? Yo, bitch! It's Rebecca from the Lagoon Company! Open this fucking door, you old skank! Hello! Hello! Open the door, you old skank! You've always been too damn loud. I can't let your kind walk through there. Over here. Follow me. What the oh hell? my. <laughs> this certainly is a surprise. Would you like a better deal for us or a discount on your services? Don't fuck with us, sister. Why don't you do the smart thing and play this one by the book, so everyone will be happy? You wouldn't want to count your money with your feet, would you? I wouldn't make idle threats if I were you. If you insist, then why don't you bring Dutchy Boy around? This is very good tea, sister. Sister, um... It's Sister Yolanda, young man. Yolanda? It's been a very long time since I've had tea that wasn't from a tea bag. It takes a company with that kind of history and dedication so to deliver such other. flavor without fail. Rock, will you shut the fuck up? That's true for any company, even if their products differ. I'm afraid we won't have much of a negotiation if you get too hasty. <laughs> I'm talking about the drugs. Huh? That's what I'm getting at, sister. Lately, drugs are being distributed outside the agreed-upon routes. Did you know that? Sister, Hotel Moscow and other mafia in the city have made every effort to find the source. They've looked everywhere they could think of, but the culprits still haven't been found. Young man, you can't make statements based on mere conjecture. You make it sound like the stuff's coming out of this place. Lagoon Company is, of course, on friendly terms with Hotel Moscow. But I wouldn't say we necessarily work something. together either. I see your point. If you improve your timing a bit, then you'll really take shape. And, uh, yes, sister? He's a bit rough, but he passes. Add the R one to the list. Okay. Dutchy boy has a good eye. I can't imagine where he found you. It's almost time for mess. I apologize, but you'll have to be on your way. Young man, come visit us again sometime soon. You got lucky this time. Go to hell, bitch. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> You could learn a thing or two from that young man, you know. In the end, waving your gun around doesn't work. You'll never do good business like that. 
Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I mean, she is right about that. Oh, man. We should have timed this a little better. It's crowded. Let's eat before it gets cold. You've been like this ever since the submarine. Is it our talk? Who cares? I told you never to talk about that again. Revy, I'm not gonna apologize anymore. <gasps> Okay. I must have misheard you. You better hope I did, otherwise you're a fucking dead man. Is that so? In that case, I'll say it again. I didn't make any mistake. I've nothing to apologize for. That's what I'm saying. Let's go, Rock. Put her in her place. That's a shame. You just stepped on a non-negotiable big-ass fucking landmine. <laughs> like I said. A real shame. There's just one last thing I need to ask you. What do you want on your tombstone, cocksucker? There's no cure for a fool with a gun. Well, Rock, goodbye. See ya. <sighs> See that? There are some problems you can't solve with a gun. <clears throat> <laughs> you bastard! Who are you calling bastard? My name is Rock! You got that? Fuck! I've had more than my fill of this shit! I've had enough! I thought I was done with kissing ass for a living, but here I am at the ends of the earth, and now I'm supposed to be kissing your ass? What kind of sick joke is this? Arrogant son of a- It's Rock! An arrogant? Who the hell are you kidding? Why don't you try taking a good look at yourself? As soon as you open your mouth, all I ever hear you talking about is money, money, money. You think you'd be some hard-ass villain after the big prize, but you end up scavenging off corpses Damn, instead. Rock. Is there any Grow fucking limit balls. to how greedy you can be? Are you really that pathetic? Don't you have any pride left in you? You really think you can judge me, Mr. White Collar? As far as the eye can see, I hate to break it to you, but there is no fucking Robin Hood. Oh, it's time to go. If there's no Robin Hood, then why don't you become Robin Hood? It's gotta be better than feeling sorry for yourself. Crying about your hard life. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, damn it! I'm serious! I'll kill you! Then do it. Keep chasing your tail like a dog if that's what you want. <sighs> that's all I know how to do! Away. I was an afterthought, and all for what? To protect their dirty money, their expense accounts, their place at the boardroom table. When you first invited me in, it was like waking up from a long sleep. My life had become the rush hour commute, the fake laughing, lowering my head, risking my life to score points. And all of that was fine as long as I had a place to drink after work in a batting cage nearby. One person who shook me awake, the one who invited me in, it was you, Rev. What concerns me now is that the one woman who showed me all of this is acting just like the people who betrayed me. I'm not gonna stand by and let that happen. I don't know what you're talking about, goddammit. Ah, fuck it. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? An idiot like you won't live long. We're both idiots and we've both suffered. Just leave it at that. I'm pretty sure you're the biggest idiot here. Dumbass. Getting mad. Ooh, sounds scary. What are you gonna do? Write a memo or something? Hey, you two! Why don't you mind your own fucking business? So <laughs> discharging your weapon without any concern for who's watching, and I'm the poor slob who's gotta put out the fire. Isn't that why we give you all those fat envelopes? Do I complain to you about my job, Chi hey, Rock? Just one thing. Let me ask you this, and there won't be any more trouble. So, um, I just want to know which side you want to be on. Me? I'm right here where I'm sitting, Revy. I'm not anywhere else. Rock, give me a light. Light? The cops got the lighter. What are you talking about? You got one in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. 
What a fucked up day that was. No shit. Guys, this was a really great episode. Definitely the best one so far uh, for this uh, episode. It was just really freaking good. I'm just so happy Rock stood up to Revy because she needed that. Like, Lord, you know, when's the last time she, someone actually stood up to her like that? It's been a while. You can see that, you know, she she had a lot of respect for him after that. Literally, you could just see that. She's just shocked about, like, what he was doing and stuff. Yes, everyone has to suffer somewhat in every life. Of course, there are people who suffer way more than others. She suffered way more than Rock. Because Rock had an easier life, if you want to put it quote unquote easier. But she, he still had to suffer, still, you know, where he had to kiss butt to those corporate people, hide, you know, protect their money, protect their interests in every way. And of course, just to get a paycheck, just to live. And of course, to be miserable after that as well, you know, to go back to the same place over and over and over and over again. I think this was a breakthrough for her to like have some type of respect for Rock. And of course, Rock already, Rock already respects uh, Revy already. But you know, Revy, I mean, but obviously Rock had to say something to her to get through to her head that, look, I feel sorry for yourself. Like all that type of stuff. Like that's pretty much what he did with her, you know, did, you know, did for her just to make her think. That's pretty much what he did. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this next episode, guys. Uh, Haruto, I hope you enjoyed this uh, reaction. Please like in the comment of the video. Make sure it's going on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. And also consider supporting the channel as well. Thank you guys for being a wonderful day. I'll see you next Black Lagoon.